Hi, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, a mixed media painter from Nashville, Tennessee, and today I'm doing quick abstract studies with a very limited palette you see here. I'm using uh, Thalo Green, Magenta, and Flame Orange Acrylic Ink. So these wound up being abstract, but when I started, I, I, was, I was staying open. I really didn't know what I was going to paint. I was just going to see where it led me. So I'm mixing some colors here with, in my limited palette. It's amazing the number of colors you can mix um, with just two or three colors and white and black. So I'm just experimenting, see what, seeing what colors I like, what, what combinations I like, putting a little water on my paper and beginning to spread it around. Now, I'm using a paper, a piece of watercolor paper that I have masked off into four sections. I like to paint in multiples this way when I'm doing this exercise because it keeps me from thinking too much. I try to move as quickly as possible and not plan ahead and just respond to the marks, the way they feel, the color, the way it's interacting, and um, just see where it goes. And not even too much uh, looking at what's happened on the paper. I'm trying to stay in just the moment of that small space in which I'm painting and what's happening there. Um, later, I will take a look at the whole picture, but right now I'm just trying to keep moving, keep mixing color, uh, keep experimenting. It's in this way that I find out what I like, what I don't like, um, I get new ideas, and there's no agenda, so it's, it is very, very, there's nothing at stake, it's very low pressure which is exactly what I like. Uh, you can really mess it up and you've come away learning something. Uh, so right now I've, I've mixed a really nice brown um, with that orange and black. And now I've, I've mixed the magenta and black and I wanted a really dark color to just sort of be uh, a spot, a focal point there. So I'm just choosing where to put that and continuing to move really fast. There I'm, I'm expending all the paint that was stubbornly clinging to my brush and trying to get it onto the paper. So now it's after a little blow drying of the paint, um, it's time to remove the masking tape. And this is always a fun part because you get to see what they look like separately and, and what the paint has done in each of those small spaces. So I cut them apart and just begin to look at them. I'm just looking at all the paintings individually and seeing if I could make a landscape out of it. Uh, that was the intention when I started, but I just wasn't feeling it. So now I've taken out all of my homemade collage papers. These are collage papers that are made on tissue, tissue paper, or like gift, uh, you know, that you might put a gift, gift in. And um, I like to use tissue paper because it's uh, transparent, except for the marks that you've made on it. Now, if you were to put it over a dark area of paint, you would see it a little bit, but in the lighter areas, it still allows you to see what's going on underneath it, and I really love that. I love the layering and what that does to the eye and the imagination invites you to, to keep looking and to see what's happening and, and how did that effect occur. What are the different um, elements that are at play? So um, I'm just putting at least one piece of collage on each of these just to see what I can make, what it can wind up looking like. So here's another piece of tissue paper that I've just uh, gone over with a yellow acrylic marker and made little yellow dots. 
So as you can see, it just delicately puts these little dots on there and sometimes you can see the edges. Sometimes you can't see the edges of the paper, which I like that. Now this piece of paper is falling apart, which I don't mind that either. Um, I like the happy accidents. So here they are one by one. This is a really fun exercise and it teaches you a lot about what you want, where you want to go next, um, what's possible. So let me know in the comments if you have tried this, if you like doing this, and thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it and I hope that you will visit me on my website, marybethquinnart.com, and subscribe or share this episode with someone that would like it. Thanks.